In this video, you will learn about what is T file and archive. This component is available in the file component. Under this file component, you can see management. So in this management, you have various file managing components. So here you can see that we have T file and archive. So what is that T file and archive? If you want to decompress an archive file for further processing, you can use this an archive. The various file formats which are possible with this is tar file dot t a r dot g is it okay dot zip zip tar g is it t g z files are possible with that. Let's try. See, I'm here. You have the component T file and archive. Just click and drag it on the canvas. So here you can see in the workspace, you can see that your T file and archive is available. Now double click here. Okay, and if you click on the component in the in this component window, okay, double click, you can see the component basic okay here it is asking you to install the jar file if you are using it for the very first time it needs some supporting file okay so click install okay it will ask you it will show the relevant jar file here okay so install all these download and install so simply click here download and install so it will automatically install okay now you cannot find a warning symbol here okay now let us see what are the basic basic settings which we have to give it here okay so the very first one is archive file so you have to tell which file you have to unzip okay so click on this three dots okay and you can select the file so i'm selecting here the file which i want to unzip okay so i want to unzip this file click open okay here you can see that that particular path is available here and you have to all set to which directory it has to extract okay so i'm creating a directory here that is under this i'm creating unzip okay or an archive okay and select folder now you can see that the file is available okay and the other options or use archive file name as a root directory so if you want to make this archive file name as a root directory then you can click here okay you can also check the integrity before unzip and you can extract the file path if you want to give provide a password so you can click here need password okay and you can select your own password here that we will discuss after this execution okay once this is done you can go and click the run button okay so it is executing great so it is processing okay that is it is processing it is extracting the file and once it's done it will show the so process finished okay now if you go and check in the folder it will be available got it now here you can see that that file is unzipped okay so if you click here you can find the videos which is unzipped okay so let's see more
properties what are the other properties available there let us understand the basic settings here you can see this is an archive file we have discussed about this and the extraction directory use archive file as a root directory so what does it means it like you have to select this checkbox to create a folder named as the archive if it does not exist under the specific directory and extract the zip files to that folder okay so the next option is check the integrity before unzip so this you have to select this box to run an integrity check before unzipping the archive file and extract file paths okay so you have to extract the file path this select this box to reproduce the file path structured zipped in the archive so next is the need a password so if you select this it will ask you the decryption method okay that is one as a java decrypt and second one is zip for j decryption method so the decryption method is you can either go with a java decrypt or zip for j decrypt method so by default it will be in zip for j okay so leave that as such and here you have to enter the password click on the three dots okay click on the three dots and now you have to give what password you have to use it when archiving that is unarchiving the file okay so that is this is very important that you have to select this box and provide correct decrypt method and password if the archive to be unzipped is password protected okay so the encrypted archive must be one created by the t file archive component okay so you have to connect with the t file archive component otherwise it will show some error okay and then you can also you can also give the password here within the double quotes for example you can give any passwords okay password and if you click okay you can uh, that password will be here okay so you can use this password in order to protect your anarchy so these are all the basics basic setting and the final one is die on error that is if it has any error the job execution will be stopped okay so this is all about the file and archive we will discuss more about the file management that is how to create file archive and how to do file compare file copy file delete and everything in the upcoming videos